Welcome to another episode of New Jersey Forensic Account. Today we're going to continue our discussion on Benford's Law, and I'm going to apply to the Pennsylvania 2020 vote. Many of you requested this, so that's why I'm going to do it. Now remember, the purpose of this video is to spread the word of Benford's Law, okay, and how it can be applied to fraud. As a forensic accountant, we have lots of techniques to undercover fraud, but one of the ones we use often is Benford's Law. And that's why I've been doing a couple videos on this, and it seems to uh, have taken some traction. And remember that our YouTube channel, we do lots of other interesting things. We, we discuss the characteristics of uh, forensic accountants. We talk about car loans. Whatever we, whatever we want to do, we'll talk about. There's one about how to become a earn $5 million. There's all kinds of stuff on here. So join the, the YouTube channel if you can, because like I said, you're going to find stuff here that you will not find anywhere else. Let's get going on this. Now, as a forensic accountant, okay, we have many ways of spotting fraud and I love to use Benford's law and what Benford's law is. And I guess some of you have heard this before. It basically looks at the first digit in numbers and what it does, it puts them in order. And when you do that for any population, as long as it's, you know, a fair sample, you will get this symmetry and this skew, okay? What this is telling you that 30% of the first digits will be a 1, 18% will be a 2, etc. And you'll have, see how this goes down? That's what you will get. Now, it makes sense if you take a look at a, a logarithmic scale, okay? You can, you'll understand why 1 is so prevalent. Take a look at it if you, if you get a chance. Again, we're not going to really discuss it here because it can get pretty in-depth. The other thing is that when you apply Benford's Law to things like, and I've, I've talked about this before, the distance of the planets from the sun, the distance of the stars to Earth, and even to Fibonacci numbers, you will get this, this symmetry, okay? And that's why this is a great way to tell if there's an anomaly in a data set. So let's take a look at some, some, uh, some analysis that was done. Okay, this line here, this red line, is where it should be, right? Benford's Law. And I always like to use the motor vehicle case because you would expect that motor vehicle thefts would be right in line with Benford's Law, but it's telling you that the thefts reported are not in line with Benford's Law. And there's lots of reasons for that, okay? A lot of it is that... Some of the cars aren't really stolen. They're destroyed by the owners, things like that. The cars, uh, there's, it's bad paperwork. But what this is telling you is that if you had this data set, you may want to take a closer look at it. And that's why someone would call us as forensic accounts to come in and say, listen, uh, we don't know if these, these uh, stolen, call, call, you know, stolen, stolen motor vehicle that happened in New Jersey are real. We'd go in and do an investigation. Uh, but the first step we would do was to do a Benford's Law analysis. Now, let's just take a look at what we do here in analyzing the vote count for Pennsylvania. Okay, first of all, I'm going to take all 67 counties in Pennsylvania, all 67, okay? And I'm going to analyze close to 7 million registered voters. So this population is almost 100%, right? Well, the, the, there's only 67 counties in Pennsylvania. We use all 67. There's... As far as registered voters, 7 million is a lot. I'm not sure how many there are, but there's probably not too many more. So whatever results we get from our Benford's Law analysis is going to be pretty accurate. And here's the website I went to. Again, you know, this is not, the purpose of this is not to, uh, you know, have a political point of view. The purpose is to show how Benford's Law would be applied. Now, this is a political map, and this is where they had tabulated all the counties right down here. Okay, we're going to take all this data. And here's a map of Pennsylvania, which is showing the red, I think, was Trump, and, and the blue is Biden. So what we're going to do is take a look at this data set and see if it is accurate or if there's any anomalies. Okay, we've done this with Georgia. Um, and let's see if we find similar type results here. Now, once we get this data here, we're going to take it and we're going to fix it up. Okay, and here's where we put it on an Excel sheet. And there's some instructions in the uh, YouTube channel where you can see what we did here. But here's the Biden votes. We take the first digit, right? For example, what's the first digit here in Allegheny County? It's a four. We put it over here. I have a formula that does it right there. And it does it for all 67 counties, right? 
see 67 counties and then here's 85 right eight so this happened and we did the same exact thing for trump we took all the votes for all the counties and moved the digits over right and then we take that information and we move it over to here so let's see what the results tell us about here's the charts we have okay here's the digits one through nine here's the frequency here's the number of times a one was the first digit in a number for in a county there's 67 counties right so 16 times the number started with a one seven times it started with a two four times it started with three and 67 and what is the actual percentage here's the actual percentage 24 percent of the time it started with one 10 percent it started with a two etc now this is what benford's law is saying no it should be 30 percent it should be 18. so this is telling you there's anomalies in this data right look at this 19 percent of the numbers start with a four but showing you only should be 10 right this is the biden calculations from the political website okay this is all independent stuff now let's look at trump trump 29 percent of the time 29 times the number started with a one right it should be 30 percent that's 43 percent okay this data here there's issues with the data uh now i would expect only 18 percent of the time the number started with 11 it started 16. again this is showing you that there's some anomalies in the data the way to see this from uh, visually is let's take a look at a histogram okay for the same data here's a histogram okay now the histogram is basically taking the you know frequencies and the digits and it's giving you a picture of what the data looks like okay it's showing the symmetry it's showing the skew and you could see like look at Biden's it's like this like a roller coaster right Trump's is like this because this first number is way out of whack as we saw up here right it's 43 percent of the time a number starts with a one it should only be 30. so this is definitely a big problem right as a forensic accountant I'm going to be very curious as to why the data looks like this because what should it look like? It should look like this. Whoop. Right? Okay. So here is the conclusion based on the data. Benford's law applied to the 67 county votes, 7 million registered voters, and in, in, the data was applied to. Okay? Indicates that data is manipulated. And you know, that's the result. And the way we do this is just like a scientist, okay? We take the data, we analyze the data, we look at the results, we interpret the results. But as a forensic accountant, the next step would be to send a team of forensic accountants into the counties to figure out if there is fraud or if it's just miscalculation or it's some kind of crazy uh, legitimate anomaly. We don't know because we haven't done it. So listen, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave comments below. We'll try to get back to you. And remember, please join our YouTube channel because we put a lot of work in. Like I said, in a lot of the other videos we put on here, you will hear things that you'll never hear anywhere else. You know, a lot of people, we did uh, one on how to buy an auto. We did uh, one on employee theft. We did one on characteristics of forensic accounts to understand what we do. And like I said, we had one where the easy way to make $5 million. And these are things that we've learned over decades of working with lots of people and doing lots of different things. Uh, because it's pretty unique being a forensic accountant, especially with all the experience we have here. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment below, and please join the, uh, you know, just subscribe if, if you, uh, you know, want to get more of this stuff. Thanks a lot.